Welcome to this demonstration showcasing two of EMC's backup and recovery technologies for Microsoft Exchange and Microsoft SharePoint Server. This demonstration is one in a series of demos as part of an EMC proven solution solution, which also included a detailed white paper providing technical design guidance, deployment and performance test results. In this demonstration, we will cover how to use Avama Granular Restore to recover a single exchange mailbox. In this environment, there are two exchange mailbox servers and 10 DBs. The DBs are protected by Exchange Database Availability Group. In this demonstration, we will recover a mailbox in DB02 which is mounted on mailbox server MB01. We can create a filter to display all the mailboxes in DB02. We will use the first one as an example in this demonstration. Let's copy the name of this mailbox, and then we can use the exchange commandlet to export its statistics. Also, let's use Outlook Web Access to view the mailbox before we perform the granular restore. Now we open Avama Admin to choose a backup. We select the passive node where the backup was performed. Then click the granular recovery icon to browse the content of the selected backup. Exchange GR plugin must the existing backups database from Avamagrade or data domain and makes the database available on a mount point. This eliminates the time required to restore the database before doing the granular recovery. When the DB is mounted, it displays all the mailboxes inside the DB. We can also expand the mailbox to see the folders and the messages inside the selected mailbox.
Depending on the requirement, you can only recover the items you need. In this demonstration, we select all the items to recover the whole mailbox. In the More Options dialog box, you can configure if you want to dismount the mount point automatically after the restore completes. Once we click on OK button, the restore job will kick off. We can check the details of the job from Avama Admin's activity window. After the restore job completes, we can use Outlook Web Access to view the mailbox again and see the difference. As we can see, all restored items are saved in folder Recovered Items. The folder name also included the date the GR restore was performed. Also, we can use the Exchange command lid again to export the statistics of the mailbox and see a difference. Thank you for watching this video as part of a series of videos for the solution. We invite you to view the other videos relating to the solution. You can also download the white paper that contains extensive test data and other very useful information relating to backup and restore of Microsoft Exchange and SharePoint to Avamar and Data Domain. Thank you.